I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Máš tatíček nebo štíček, daj. Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. Something you're looking for here? Christ, rude, what a fucking stink. How long have you been lying here? Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh, shit. 
shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, the stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Well, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. I have some experience. All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lockpick for the job. Take care now. Can you help me with training my dog? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it will cost you. Maybe another time. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue, how much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. 
Now run with the ring, the Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. You'll buy stolen goods from me. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Would you teach me something about the, uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable. But also, of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out, carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. You. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened, and then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? 
I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. The miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows.